Uh, welcome back, friends. Hello, I am Rajeshri Srikant, Selection Grade Lecturer from Government Polytechnic, Bagepalli. Our topic today will be subject-verb agreement. This is another area where non-English speakers have a problem with. So, we will subject-verb agreement and topic discuss topic. Being able to find the right subject and verb will help you correct errors of subject verb agreement. So, even a link, num students make a lot of mistakes. Tumba na valuation kind na lala north ayrtivi. Even al tumba confusion ida yanta. So, e confusion na unsal po bagi har salu. I will try my best today. A singular subject, she or bodo, bill, name of a person, car. Ita ra yana singular subject idre. Singular verb use like is, goes, shines, whereas a plural subject takes a plural verb. So, uh, subject eka vachana da lidre, namge verb kuda eka vachana da leirbeku. Subject bahu vachana idre, verb kuda bahu vachana irbeku. This is obviously a very simple uh, definition, very basic rule. But either nali nam, nam students the problem ye no andre subject eka vachanana bahu vachanana another confusion mark. The list of items is or or on the desk. So either is or and then is to beka or to beka and then get confusion because li, items another bahu vachana it plural lali de. but list another singular eka vachana. If you know that list is the subject, but nam ge e, uh, sentence nali list another subject so list is singular so the verb should be in the singular so is is correct subject verb review first of all subject your subject is the person place or thing that your sentence is about so nimma sentence yavadar bagge maatadutte adu nimge subject agutte important reminders your sentence may have a compound subject and the error subject the compound subject. Your subject will never be in a prepositional phrase. So prepositional plus noun or pronoun or noun phrase and the one sati nala when we did prepositions. Adunali e noun pronoun anu diavatu subject agode illa. Usually your subject comes before the word. So namge statementally. The uh, subject comes before the verb. So assertive sentences in Ali, subject always comes before the verb. Now, what is a verb? The main verb tells us what the subject does or links the subject to another word does that describes it. For example, it's an action word, shows action, that is the subject performs. See, subject yavthara action maadatte, anadana action verb on TV. I walk three miles every day. Israeli, I is the subject, walk is the action word. Linking verb, connects subject to another word or words that describe it. I am tired. So, ili, I go tired go link maadatte, am anadu. So, it is a linking word. Tired is an adjective in this case. It's a past participle used as an adjective. Helping verb, auxiliary, joins an action verb to form the complete verb. I was walking three miles every day when the weather was warmer. So walking here is the main verb, was is the auxiliary. So what is subject verb agreement in that case? So if a subject is not the verb is not the same, it is the agreement and the same. Subject verb agreement means your subject and verb must match or agree in number. If you have a singular subject, then you must use a singular verb. The dog barks at every sound it he, he hears. Dog is singular, barks is the singular form of the verb. If you have a plural subject, then you must use a plural verb. The dogs bark at every sound they hear. Rules of concord, rules of agreement, na agreement and concord, they are synonyms. States that the verb must agree with its subject in person and number. So, first person, second person, third person, adhikke sariyagi na verb use maadbeku. Atwa eka vachana, bahu vachana, adhik sariyagi na verb na use maadbeku. 
The primary auxiliary be has different forms for all three persons in the present tense, am or is, and two different forms in the past tense, was or were. The other two primary auxiliaries have do have the same form in the present tense except for the third person singular which which has has and does they have the same form in the past tense for both singular and plural singular ekavachana plural bahuvachana so e slide in the nimge in the present tense singular verbs end in the suffix Yes. So present tense na liro verbs usually yes in the end agatte. Idu andu niwo nen palit koli. Plural verbs do not end in s. Basic rule: singular subjects need singular verb. Plural subjects need plural verb. I cannot stress this enough. My brother is a nutritionist. My brother is singular. My sisters are mathematicians. Sisters is Plural, both watch now. It is important to know how your singular and plural subjects are and verbs are formed. For your subject, which is a noun, the singular form does not end in an S. So, singular subjects, yes, in the end of the yes, and no suffix in the end of the law. So, Andre, house, houses, watch, watches, the dog barks at every sound it hears. It hears. Dog is ekavachana, singular. But barks is the singular form of the word. The plural form ends in an S. The dogs bark at every sound they hear. Here, when you use dogs, dogs, you say barks. For your word, the singular form ends in an S. The dog barks at every sound it hears. The plural form does not end in an S. The dogs bark at every sound they hear so here it is the opposite plural ge bahuvachana maadbeku sorry subject ge bahuvachana maadbeku andre naavu yes haaktivi but verb ge bahuvachana verb ge ekavachana maadbeku andre yes haaktivi okay i need an s at the end of the word should i leave the s off this is the uh, question that most uh, non-English speaking students of English have. So, you know, English mother tongue all day over again, you know, you don't do that. The elephant trumpets for a penalty. Elephant is singular, trumpets is singular word. Elephants trumpet for peanuts. Here, elephants is plural subject. Trumpet is plural word. Some basic rules. Now we will discuss the rules. Two or more singular subjects joined by the conjunction and require and by the conjunction and and no conjunction in the yerudunu join madidre. They require a plural word because if I say something like you and me, ibro italva ibro andre bahuvachana ito. Gold and platinum are precious metals. Your father and mother have come. He and I were playing chess. If two singular subjects refer to one idea or refer to parts of a whole or two closely related things, the verb is in the singular. Bread and butter is his usual breakfast. So bread and butter is one idea. You don't eat bread first and then butter. You eat, eat them both together. Uh, you know, uh, butter mele, butter na bread mele hachkon tintira. Time and tide waits for no man. The tumult and shouting was intolerable. When two coordinated terms refer to the same person, the verb is in the singular. My friend and mentor has arrived. So you become a friend, but he is also my mentor, our non guide mentor. So the same person is both. My son and heir, non maga, but I know non waras dara kura, is going to be 18 next week. When a singular subject is joined to other singular or plural nouns by with, as well as along with, in addition to, together with, etc., the subject is still singular and the 
verb is also in the singular. The house with its contents was insured. The chief minister, together with all his cabinet ministers, was present at the ceremony. Ram as well as Sham is absent today. Beware of inverted word order. Here is the onions you need for the chili. In the refrigerator is a jalapeno peppers you might want to add. So here and there anudna now subject agi consider madala. So you have onions another subject type. So here at mele namge wandu plural subject today. Avaga nawu plural form of the word use madbeko. So here is the onions and the helakavala. So you have to say here or the onions. So here and there or never subjects. Cross through prepositional phrases to find the real subject. So prepositional phrases na kitak pudi. So prepositional phrases in the kitak mele, whatever noun is left will become your subject. So in the refrigerator, another now get prepositional phrase. So you take that away. So the other noun you're left with is jalapeno peppers. When the subject is a noun phrase consisting of a singular noun as a subject of the head word, the verb must be made to agree with the singular head word. The employment of young children is a punishable offense. The quality of these mangoes is not good. Here, our head word or the subject word is employment and in the second sentence, quality. When a number of is used to mean several or many, it is treated as a plural and thus takes a plural word. A number of dignitaries were present on the occasion. A number of another plural and the consider martivi. But when it means a numerical total, it takes a singular word. The number of cars in the city is increasing day by day. Now here we're talking about a particular number, the number. A subject will come before the phrase beginning with of. This is a key rule for understanding subjects. The word of is the culprit in many, perhaps most, subject word mistakes. So now off another na tumba confuse marko tai divi. So idu mistake ago kido tumba very important culprit. Hasty writers, speakers, readers, and listeners might miss the all too common mistake in the following sentence. Hasty bega bega matar oru bari oru idu na bega miss mar borthare. Incorrect. A bouquet of yellow flowers. Yeah, sorry, a bouquet of yellow roses lend color to and fragrance to the room. So you don't know that contra correct idea in own sate because roses are not ideal, roses are not plural ideal. But namge roses are not subject allah. Nam subject is bouquet. So a bouquet of yellow roses lends on the haktivi. Because bouquet lends, not roses lend. The number of subject, singular or or plural is not changed by words that come between the subject and the verb. One of the X is broken. Here of the X another one go verb is go madhya bandide. So adu nam verb na change madadilla. Of the X is a prepositional phrase. The subject one and the verb is are both singular. Mentally omit the prepositional phrase to make the subject verb agreement easier to make. Neither or, neither nor require a singular word. Suma or her mother is going to the wedding. So, we will wobru. So, wobru andre singular right. My aunt or my uncle is arriving by train today. Neither Ram nor Sham is available. Either Karina or Karishma is helping today with stage decorations. Rule three. Word an or, either or, neither or sentence agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it. So, other pakka baro, andre, either or, neither nor, either or sentence nalli, a verb ya eni de, other pakka baro subject ke agree madbe. Neither the plates nor the serving bowl goes on the shelf. Here, serving bowl is the word that comes just before the verb goes. So, 
the verb has to agree with bowl which is singular neither the serving bowl nor the plates go on the shelf see adanne na word order na salpa change madidre plates anodu bahu vachana aitu so we use the verb go to agree with plates which is plural when two plural nouns are connected by or either or neither nor the verb is plural neither the boys nor the girls have done well in the test so here now neither nor andre yaru illa zero aitu so this is a singular but namge have use martivi boys u alla girls u illa yaru illa zero on so zero anadu common sense says zero is singular but then because we have boys and girls which are both plural we use the plural form of the word this rule can lead to bumps in the road for example if i is one of the two or more or more subjects it could lead to this odd sentence awkward neither she my friends nor i am going to the festival idu ontra keladakke awkward agide so you can change the sentence a little bit if possible it's best to reword such grammatically correct but awkward sentences better is neither she i nor my friends are going to the festival or even better than this would be she my friends and i are not going to the festival so idanalli yaru illa so ee tara word now madidre it sounds so much better the pronouns neither and either are singular and require singular verbs even though they seem to be referring in a sense to two things neither of the two traffic lights is working so here you think you are referring to two things but you are uh, referring to neither of them zero what shirt do you want for christmas either is fine with me yav shirt beko yavdo ondu so yavdo ondu andag ondu tane singular as a general rule use a plural verb with two or more subjects when they are connected by and a car and a bike or my means of transportation but note these exceptions breaking and entering is against the law we already did that bread and butter is my usual breakfast adhe thara break and entering it's a compound word compound subject the the bed and breakfast was charming so here we are not talking about bed and breakfast as two separate entities we are talking about a, a paying guest kind of accommodation where bed and breakfast is given so we are talking about that accommodation we are not talking about bed separately and breakfast separately so bed and breakfast andre on the paying guest accommodation so the accommodation was charming namthi in those sentences breaking and entering and bed and breakfast of compound nouns sometimes the subject is separated from the verb by such words as along with as well as besides not etc these words and phrases are not part of the subject ignore them and use a singular verb when the subject is singular the politician along with the newsman is expected shortly excitement as well as nervousness is the cause of her shaking where of interrupting phrases this is what we just dis discussed just now as well as along with together with including in addition to especially all these or interrupting phrases the squirrel as well as the pigeons keep an eye on sammy the sneaky cat so now you have as well as the pigeons but pigeons is not the subject our subject is squirrel and the squirrel is singular so the verb has to agree with the squirrel so you have to change keep to keeps the sentence might sound right but it is completely wrong as well as the pigeons na rakli avaga squirrel ulkolutte squirrel anadu ekavachana so keep anadana navu ekavachana singular form of the verb ke change madbeku these such as together with as well as are not the same as and so idu ondu nafka ittkoli idu and ge equivalent alla 
the phrase introduced by as well as along with will modify the earlier word but it does not compound the subjects as the word would do dera chief as well as his brothers is going to prison the dera chief and his brothers are going to jail so here as well as andaga singular dera chief matra namge subject agutte but as well as anavaga singular but and use madaga ibruno so dera chief matte his brothers with words that indicate portions a lot a majority some all etc rule 1 is given given earlier is reversed and we are guided by the noun after of if the noun after of is singular use a singular word if it is plural use a plural word a lot so either nalli a lot of ee tara words ge matra idu anvaya a lot of the pi has disappeared pi anadu singular so you have a lot of andre no a vand pi nalli jaasti portion anta so now singular verb use martivi a lot of the pies have discovered now and hat the pies na bake maaditirtini adarnalli a lot of them andre namge more than one anta lekha bantu a third of the city is unemployed a third of the people are unemployed so here we are talking about people as a common noun as a plural noun all of the pie is gone all of the pies are gone some of the pie is missing some of the pies are missing the following words may be singular or plural depending upon their use in a sentence some any all most a lot of most of the news is good singular most of the flowers were yellow plural all of the pizza was gone singular all of the children were late plural some indefinite pronouns such as all some or singular and plural depending on what they are referring to is the thing referred to countable or not be careful choosing a verb to accompany such pronouns some of the beats are missing here you can count the beats manigalna enisabodu some of the water is gone neerna ensakagala so it is a count uh, uncountable noun or mass noun so we use the singular verb the sentence is beginning with here or there the true subject follows the verb so ee tara sentence nalli verb aad mel barutte subject there are four hurdles to jump so illi you can see those four hurdles so four hurdles andre bahu vachana aitu so aur hakthivi there is a high hurdle to jump single hurdle tumba uddakke irudu so one hurdle singular here are the keys what's there here, here and there or never subjects there are two reasons for this there is no reason for this here are two apples here is the book you wanted what there's which is a contraction of there is leads to bad habits in informal sentences like there's a lot of people here today in tv anta easy ag bega ban bidutte baige but this is wrong because people is a plural noun so you must say there are a lot of people here today take care never to use there's with a plural subject use a singular verb with distances periods of time sums of money etc when considered as a single unit 3 miles is too far to walk we are talking about walking 3 miles in one, at one stretch so at one stretch of a uh, distance at that so avuga we use it as a singular 5 years is the maximum sentence for that offense 10 rupees is a high price to pay but 10 rupees that is we are talking about 10 rupee co rupee coins was scattered on the floor expressions of time money measurement and weight are usually singular when the amount is considered as one unit 5 dollars is we don't say or too much to ask 10 days is again not or not nearly enough time on occasion however these terms are used in the plural sense there were 30 minutes to count down so we are talking about 30 whole minutes 
1 to 30. Some collective nouns such as family, couple, staff, audience, ethera nouns galna nao, kelu sandarbadalli singular ag use martivi, kelu kade plural ag use martivi. The staff is in a meeting. So we are talking about all the staff has one single unit. Staff is acting as a single unit. The couple disagree about disciplining their child. So here when we are talking about couple, we are talking about the father and the mother of the child. The couple refers to two people who are acting as individuals. Detectives referring to professions or occupations usually take a plural form. The police were informed of the accident. So here, the police and Adhana plural law use Martivi. The bar comprised some of the best legal brains in the country. Here, the bar, we are talking about the legal bar, the uh, bench of lawyers. When the individuals that make up the collective is thought of as one whole, the verb is in the singular. The committee has made its decision. When the collective is thought of as only the individuals, it is made of, then the verb is in the singular. The committee are divided in their opinion. So here we are talking about different people in the committee. In the first sentence, we are talking about committee as a whole. Nouns like clothing, furniture, luggage, crockery, itara world galna, noun galna, now singular and tane consider martivi. Food is cheap out there, but clothing is expensive. So clothing ali very one piece of wood po irala. Yalla irate, but we are still talking about clothing as a single unit. Has your luggage been unloaded from the train? You get 10 pieces of suitcase. luggage. These nouns have no plural form. Luggage ke luggage sana form me illa. Clothing santa form me illa. Furnitures, crockeries, evella. We never use it in the plural. So these verbs, sorry, these nouns do not have a plural form. Collective nouns like people, public, folk, lady. Lady means the common man or common woman. Always take a plural word. The public have a right to know about the decisions being taken. The people in the audience were unruly. Note, anyone who uses a plural word with a collective noun must take care to be accurate and also consistent. It must not be done carelessly. The following is a sort of flawed sentence one sees and hears a lot these days. So, either a mistake model is very common. So, please be careful. The staff is deciding how they want to vote. So, here we are talking about staff. The part of the sentence is singular. plural. So, this sentence is not correct. Careful speakers and writers should avoid assigning the singular is and the plural they to staff in the same sentence. The staff are deciding how they want to vote. So here we are talking, when we are using they, make sure you're using the plural verb also. Rewriting such sentences is recommended whenever possible. The preceding sentence would read even better as, the staff members are deciding how they want to vote. Instead of simply saying the staff, it's better to say the staff members. The word were replaces was in sentences that express a wish or contrary to fact, imaginary circumstances. Now use Mardaga, we don't we usually use it in the plural. If Joe were here, you would be sorry, but Joe is not here. So if Joe were here is an imaginary situation. Joe Yanana Ilididre. So you were Joe Illa. So it is this is not a real situation. It's only a hypothetical situation. Shouldn't Joe be followed by was, not were, given that Joe is singular? But no, it is an unreal sentence. But Joe isn't actually here, so we say were, not was. The sentence demonstrates a subjunctive mood. So either a sentence is now subjunctive mood, which is used to express things that are hypothetical wishful, imaginary, or factually contradictory. So, Ivala, fact to get virudda vagiro anta sentence. The subjunctive mood pairs singular subjects with what we usually think of as plural verbs. I wish it were Friday. Itanodo, singular raito. But again, it is not Friday. Today is Wednesday. So, it is a, a hypothetical sentence. 
she requested that he raise his hand. In the first example, a wishful statement, not a fact, is being expressed. Therefore, were, which we usually think of as a plural verb, is used with a singular subject, it. Normally, he raise would sound terrible to us because he another singular item. So he jatel now raises an murtivi. But in this case, it is correct. However, in the second example where a request is being expressed, the subjunctive mood is correct. The subjunctive mood is the verb form used to express a wish, a suggestion, a command, or a condition that is contrary to fact we just discussed. Earlier. The form of a verb in the subjunctive mood may differ from the form with the same subject which is not in the subjunctive mood. I was in your position two years ago. So, Nanu, Ninjagdal, this is a factual statement. So, it is not in the subjunctive mood. If I were in your, in your position, which is not a uh, true statement, it is only a hypothetical statement. I would do the same. So this sentence is in the subjunctive mood. With some indefinite pronouns, we always take a singular verb, even though the meaning may seem plural. These subjects always take singular verbs. Each, every, someone, either, anyone, neither, nobody, one, somebody, no one, anybody, everyone, everybody. Each of the uh, pronouns are now indefinite pronouns. Someone in the game was hurt. We don't say were hurt. Neither of the men is working, not were working. Pronouns qualified by each or every, even though they are connected by and, require a verb in the singular. Now, every atwa each subject and use mardaga, adil yerd singular nouns iddaga, even though they are combined by and, we use the singular. Every boy and every girl was present for the flag hoisting ceremony. Indefinite pronouns like anyone, everyone, anybody, everybody, nobody, anything, everything, nothing, either, neither, or singular in form. Hence, take a singular verb. Everyone dreams of a holiday in Switzerland. Nothing is impossible. Indefinite pronoun, anyone, everyone, someone, again, it is a repeat of that. Everyone has done his or her homework. Somebody has left a purse behind. On the other hand, there is one indefinite pronoun. See, well, uh, indefinite pronoun, other than one indefinite pronoun, that can either be used in the singular or in the plural. So, either na singular anta consider mod bodu. Plural and the consider marbudu. It often doesn't matter whether you use a singular or a plural word, unless something else in the sentence determines its number. None of you claim responsibility for this incident. None of you claim responsibility for this incident. Is it not? the sentence correct. None of the students have done their homework. It really has an account. Because students are not plural, bandaga, now we usually plural again use Martin. Neither and neither sometimes take a plural verb. Now we informal like formal like in a Vienna, an essay, report, either a bariyoga, these are formal writing. Avaga now tumba care to one bari tibi. But informally, sometimes now plural use Martin. Followed by a prepositional phrase beginning with off. This is particularly true of interrogative constructions. Have either of you two clowns read the assignment? So, now, either a speech in a formal writing, or either of you taking this seriously. The conjunction or does not conjoin as and does. When nor or or is used, the subject closer to the verb determines the number of the verb. Either my father or my brothers are going to sell the house. So here, brothers is plural, so we use the plural form of the word. Neither my brothers nor my father is. My father is singular, so we use the singular form. Or either my brothers or my father responsible. It is either my father or my brothers responsible. The word, the word that is closest to the word, are other K I agree, Marbeko. 
what's in the present tense for third person singular subjects he she it and anything those words can stand for have s endings other verbs do not add s endings he loves she loves they love etc sometimes modifiers will get between a subject and its verb but these modifiers must not confuse the agreement between the subject and its verb the dera chief who has been convicted along with his four brothers on four counts of various crimes but who also seems like a cat to have several political lives he is finally going to jail so here all this whole thing which is underlined is only uh what you said as intervened between the subject and the verb it is not part of the subject words such as glasses pants pliers scissors are regarded as plural and require a plural verb unless they are preceded by the phrase pair of in which pair becomes the subject my glasses were on the bed glasses is plural my pants were torn a pair of pleat trousers is in the closet so trousers and the plural adru kuda namge our real subject is a pair which is singular some words end in s and appear to be plural but are really singular and require singular verbs the news from the front is bad the news anadu namge plural form s form idru kuda adu singular anta consider martivi measles is a dangerous disease for pregnant women some nouns while plural in form are actually singular in meaning mathematics is not r and is easy subject for some people physics is taught by professor deskachar not or taught ide tara the other nouns in this category are moms home economics social studies measles calisthenics statistics civics physics gymnastics phonics news acrobatics aesthetics thesis mathematics so these are some verbs in this some nouns in this category on the other hand some words ending in s refer to a single thing but are nonetheless plural and require a plural verb my assets were wiped out in the depression assets another now singular agidru kuda now adana plural antane consider martivi the average workers earnings have gone up dramatically earnings and you don't get multiple income main bartaila one day income earnings but still we use it as a plural our thanks go to the workers who supported the union so you have a separate thank 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 thanks and tell taila but it is still considered as plural fractional expression such as half off a part of a percentage of a majority of or sometimes singular and sometimes plural depends depending on the meaning a large percentage of the older population is voting against her two fifths of the troop were lost in the battle two fifths of the vineyard was destroyed by fire now here we are talking two fifths of the troops now troops and right a lot of soldiers alternately uh, two fifths and right there are still many people so were lost in the battle on tv two fifths of the vineyard we are talking about one big field so alternately two fifths was destroyed in the fire 40% of the students are in favor of changing the policy so we are talking about the whole student body alternately 40% 40% of the student body is in favor of changing the policy here in student body and re if we are talking about this as one single unit when the subject is a number or a fraction denoting a fixed quantity the verb is usually singular 500 rupees is too much for this bag 10 kilometers is too far to walk 3/4 of the area is under water Sums and products of mathematical processes are expressed as singular and require singular verbs that we saw just now. The expression more than one, oddly enough, takes a singular verb. But the exception to this rule is more than one. And the use mardaga na wo adana singular anta ne consider martivi. Though common sense tells us more than one is at least two, which is plural. 
More than one student has tried this. Two and two is four. Four times four divided by two is eight. Your sentence compounds a positive and a negative subject, and one is plural, the other singular, the verb should agree with the positive subject. So now in this sentence, nally one the positive, one the negative with daga, verb always agrees with the positive. Please remember this. The department members, but not the chair, have decided to teach on Valentine's Day. Department members is plural, which is in the positive. Not the chair and the devi. Not in the haki takshana, the negative vaitu. So we are, uh, the word has to agree with the positive subject. It is not the faculty members, but the president decides this issue. Here, not the faculty members. Negative. So it does not have anything to do with the word. It was the speaker, not his ideas, that has provoked the students to riot. Don't and doesn't must agree with the subject. Use doesn't after he, she, it, tiravag matra navu doesn't use martivi. Vere yella jagdali navu don't use martivi. Doesn't he know how to say? They don't make movies like that anymore. Subject verb agreement troubles person. So these are the places where people usually make a mistake. The word is a form when the word is a form of we have do. So you want the trouble spot. The words or phrases come between the subject and the verb. Another trouble spot. There is a compound subject. So compound subject you have one trouble spot. The subject is an indefinite pronoun. The verb comes before the subject. The subject is a collective noun. So these are some of the trouble spots. The verb is a form of be, have, do. Make sure a linking verb. Make sure a linking verb agrees with its subject, not with the word or phrase that describes the subject. The worst backyard pest or the squirrels are not tap. The worst backyard pest is squirrels here. Pest another. Namge subject. Again, when the phrases comes between the subject and the verb, when prepositional phrases come, the number of students have remained inconsistent is not correct. The number of students has because the number is singular. Relative clauses. The dog who likes to chase my cats have run away in a tapu because our subject is the dogs. The dog who likes to chase my cats has run away. There is a compound subject joined by and or nor. If joined by and, then subjects are combined and become plural. So verb must also be plural. Jack and Jill, Ibru. So walk up the hill, another uh, correct form. If joined by or or nor, the subjects are not combined. So the subject has to be singular. The verb is uh, must agree with the subject which is closest to it. Either the microphone or the speakers are broken. Speakers is the word closest to the word. Either the speakers or the microphone. In this sentence, the microphone is closest to the word. Neither the teacher nor the students want to stay late. Neither the students nor the teacher wants to stay late. The indefinite pronoun. A pronoun that does not replace a specific person. If I say something like Mr. Rao, Adhanas, when you replace Mr. Rao by a pronoun, you say he. So you have he, which is a definite pronoun. But one, everyone, you know, the there are vague, indefinite. Someone, anyone, everyone, etc. Most, in, most indefinite pronouns are either always singular or always plural. Beware, indefinite pronouns are often followed by a prepositional phrase or independent clause. Each of my classes is difficult is the correct answer. Sentences that ask a question, when the verb comes before the subject, sentences that ask a question is, the, is one of the sentences. Is the book in the library? Turn the sentence into a statement. So you interrogate your sentence. Now assertive sentence, okay, change money. The book is in the library. Book is singular, so he is used one way. Cool. The sentences that begin with here or there. Here is your textbook. There are three more exams scheduled for this class. 
turn the sentence around. Your textbook is here. Three more exams are scheduled for this class. So here we are talking, when you change it, you know which is the subject. The subject is a collective noun. This is another trouble spot. What is a collective noun? A collective noun names a group, a family, team, committee. These are examples. Most collective nouns refer to a group acting as one unit. Therefore, they are treated as singular and must have a singular verb. The family rides bikes together each day. The team practices every Saturday. The committee has made its decision. When each and every proceeds two or more singular word, nouns joined by and, you have a singular subject. Every chicken wing and pork rib sits untouched on Rena's plate. Because there is yes at the end of sit, you know it is a singular word. In this situation, no matter how many singular nouns you join with and, the subject is still singular. Every chicken wing, pork rib, slice of pepperoni, pizza, hot dog, hamburger, steak and fried shrimp sits untouched on Rena's plate. Because Rena is a vegetarian. Everyone on earth, more than one person, billions of people in fact, the word everyone, however, is still singular. So everyone vandaga singular reuse use singular form of the word. These create problems. Pronouns such as everyone, everybody seem plural, but they always
Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> So pronouns such as everyone, everybody is in plural, but they are always singular. Please remember this sentence: "Nali yellali everyone, everybody in the barata yavaglu singular noun nantane consider marbe." Everyone who worked on the science project is a winner. Someone has to answer the phone. Phrases that come between the subject pronoun and its verb. They may contain plural verbs, words, but they always cause confusion. Each of the basketball players is excited about tonight's game. Verbs that accompany pronouns such as all and some will be determined by whether the pronoun is referring to something that is countable or not. This again, you have to pay careful attention to. Some of the workers on the building have left for the day. Here, workers are countable. You could count the workers. Works that accompany pronouns such as all and some will be determined by whether the pronoun is referring to something countable or not. Some of the salt was on the floor. Here, salt, salt is considered as one lump item. Lump item and the uncountable, a mass. None is usually regarded as singular, 
it can be used as a plural pronoun. None of the boys has helped at the game or none of the boys have helped at the game. Either is correct. Phrases such as together with, along with, as well as seem to combine subjects, but they do not. My son, as well as his friends, is in the football team. The major problem we had, together with the heavy workload, was tardiness. Don't be fooled by extra phrases. With neither and either, when neither and either appear as subject alone, without the words or and nor, they are singular. Either of those answers seems to be right. You can have the bed by the window or the one by the door. Either is okay with me. Seems like plural things, either or, always singular. Either and neither. Words there and here are never subject. Here is my answer. Here are the papers you gave me. Here is not subject. Works in the present tense for third person, singular subjects, he, she, it, and anything those words can stand for have yes endings. Other verbs, verbs do not add s endings. He asks for help. She asks for help. They ask for help. Tricky subject pronouns. One important note, but for words, Name something that we think of as a single single unit, but that actually consists of two parts. These are always plural. Scissors, pants, trousers, tweezers. The scissors are on the table. The pants need ironing. If you add pair of to the front of any of these, they become singular. The pair of scissors is on the table. This pair of pants needs ironing. So let's try these. I have some questions for you, but I don't think we have time to go through the interactive part. Do we have, Madhra? Interaction time will answer, Tala. Interaction, Nithya. Okay. How about helping me find answers to these? Bill, I'm going to the store. If it is, if the subject and verb are in agreement, say correct. If they are not, give the correct answer. I'm going to the store. Here, Bill and Am. We are not in agreement. So you have to say, Bill is going to the store. Teachers are going to the movie. Here, teachers is plural or is in the plural form. So it is a correct statement. Would you like to try something? Another Would somebody like to answer this? Can I answer, Martira? This are going to be the easiest quiz of all time. Is the sentence correct? Or is, am, was, were, which would you prefer? Answer Madura, Michael. Answer Madura, Yarano Idre. Okay, this is going to be the easiest quiz of all time. Everyone at the movie is taking a dollar. Everyone singular. So this is correct. This is a fun book to read. This is a fun book. A fun book, singular. So is this correct? One time I were at the mountains. Here it is an actual statement. It is not a hypothetical statement. So I is singular. So I was at the mountains is the correct answer. Everyone are going to the circus. Everyone, singular, so is going to the circus. 
each of the students are worried about the test. Each singular, so is worried. None of those girls go to the church. Correct answer. The sentence is correct. The last book we read, as well as the five in the library, was fiction. The last book we read, as well as the five in the library. But here we are, our, sent, our subject is last book. So was is correct. I have some more for you. We will just go through it very quickly. In the cabinet is a tool that you will need to unclog the bathroom sink. I have found that a plunger and a prayer often do the trick. So I have already identified the works for you. In the cabinet or the tools, because tools is plural. Here are the books that Suhas and Darshan need for their research. And here is the earplugs that you'll require once they doze off in the uh, board in boredom and start snoring. So here are the books. Then here are the earplugs that you will require once they doze off. So the sentence is correct. Bassman and Rohan have decided to double the number of cupcakes that they are baking since everyone loves moist cup moist cake and chocolate frosting. Jasmine and Rohan, the verbs are identified have or love. Jasmine and Rohan, plural, have is correct. Number of cupcakes that they, they is plural or is correct. But everyone is singular, so you have to say loves. Actually, together with her friends Niyati and Neetu, plans a daily trip for ice cream. For these women have discovered that the calories is worth seeing, worth seeing Theo scoop their servings with his muscular arms. The verbs are identified pants, have, is. But, uh, here our su subject is Anjali. Anjali is singular, plants is correct. Women, plural, have is correct. Calories, plural, or is correct. So no changes necessary. Not only those students, but also their professor look forward to the final exam. Everyone has exciting vacation plans that start next Monday. The verbs are identified. Look has start. So professor is singular. Not only those students, but also their professor looks forward. Not only those students, but also their professors. Remember, positive subject. Professor is the positive subject. At the pet store, each iguana, mouse, and hamster try to climb the walls of its glass cage while humans hover outside like giant predators who are ready to strike. The verb is identified, try, hover, or. So here at the pet store, each iguana, mouse, and hamster, each rodrinda, singular aito. So Namgali tries Barbeku. Murak, as well as his cousins, hope that grandma brings her famous brownies and peach pie that drips with generous scoops of vanilla ice cream. So here the verbs are hope brings drip. So grandma singular brings is correct. Tarak hopes Barbeku. Tarak is singular, as well as another strike out strikeout Martivi. Either the dogs or the cat sleep on the bed while everyone is out. Lalita always finds an indentation in the center of her comforter. Either the dogs or the cat sleep on the bed. Sleep is finds the word. Sleeps on the bed, you have to say, because either and cat is singular. The scissors are sharp, so neither the cousins nor Anil is allowed to play with them, even when the boys need to finish a school project. Or is needs. Scissors, plural, or is correct. Neither the cousins nor Anil. Anil is the word closest to the verb is, so that is correct too. Even when the boys needs, and the correct illa. Boys again need barbeku. Each fork, spoon, and knife was carved from the, 
from the disposal since Dave refuses to check the drain before he throws the switch. Here, or refuses and throws or the words. So each irodrinda is barbeku. Dave refuses, correct. He throws, that's also correct. So that is it for now. So that's it from our uh, DTE studio for this session. I hope you enjoyed this session on subject verb agreement. If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask.